Hey guys, welcome to my Sofa Review series. This time, I'll be covering the new Black Clover movie, Sword of the Wizard King, and joining me once again is the Rascal Entertainment. Hey there! Now this Netflix exclusive movie shows the unexpected return of four fallen wizard kings from the past that are brought back with the goal of reshaping the country in order to be more equal. But before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the case for updates on upcoming reviews, hacks, randomness videos, and more. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us again. Yes. I was so excited when I first heard about this. So was Rascal, but I was more excited. She was more apprehensive. She's like, we'll see if it's going to be good because Netflix and the movies. You're right. Well, she's right on all counts, but this movie was great. It had been stepped up, the animation, mm -hmm. and many other things because they really wanted to make it big budget, as Rascal will tell you more about. Right. And so it didn't resemble the series as much as we thought it would, the animation and so forth. But they really did a great job with the movie. Right. And with that, um, the big difference when you first see it, like if you didn't see like a preview or an early screen of it, is that after they show you the little cold opening, you're expecting the intro for the movie and like a brand new thing for it. No, it jumps to the present day. I was like, okay. And then they're going to have a tournament, a gladiator type battle tournament thing. And then about not like two minutes into it, the villains show up and start attacking and declaring they're going to take over the world. And it's like they waste no time in the villains showing up. And the reason why it feels different is because they wanted to compete with the other anime movies. Since they couldn't get in the theater, they, they had to step it up for Netflix. Because mm -hmm. you had Mugen Train, Heroes Rising, Royal Heroes Mission, Jitsu Kaisen Zero... One Piece Red. You had a lot of these anime movies that were really stepping up the animation, the story, and everything from the TV shows. And they were making bank on every film that was coming out. So because they weren't going to get it from the theaters, they had to really go out on the animation and the fights. And the majority of the movie is really battles. Now for some, it's going to be great and it's perfect for you. But there, there is a story, but it's a little smaller. It's like you get that after 10 more minutes of fighting, then you get a story. For 10 minutes of talking, then you get 10 minutes of fighting. It kind of balances out the section of a huge chunk of fighting, huge chunk of action, then talking. And it keeps alternating. So it looks like a big part of this was to show off how incredible as animation could be and the fights are in order to get maybe a revival for the anime to continue the story since it stopped after three seasons. Which we really truly appreciate because the anime itself was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you haven't already, we have a podcast on the Black Clover series that you can listen to that's attached to this podcast. Right. And didn't know much about it, has seen it in passing on TV, I found it on demand and started watching it and I told Rascal, you really got to see this and she caught up and we watched it on TV live after that. Right. So for this movie itself, I just want to read a little about what the plot is noted as. Mm -hmm. Asta, a boy born of no magic in a world where magic is everything and his rival Yuno, a genius mage chosen by the legendary four-leaf grimoire, have, fought, have together a number of powerful enemies to prove their power beyond adversity and aim for the top mage wizard king. Mm -hmm. That pretty much is the basis of the anime as well. Right. Conrad Leto, the former predecessor of Julian Nova Chrono, mm -hmm. once commanded the respect of the people of Clover Kingdom, but he unexpectedly turned against the kingdom and subsequently sealed away by Julius himself. Sounds like JJK. Right. Now Conrad has resurfaced and he wields the Imperial Sword and seeks to destroy the Clover Kingdom and bring forth a new era where equality prevails by destroying all and reviving only those who he considers deserving of a place in his envisioned society sounds like Dr. Stone. Right. So it sounds like they took quite a few elements from other anime right. for this movie, but it was an inspiration, not copy. Right. One of and the a big chunk of it looked like Heroes Rising because mm -hmm. 
uh, Conrad was a lot like nine in Definitely. a way. It was like they had done another nine. Definitely. One of the best things about this movie is the voice cast from the anime series appeared in here. They didn't get Netflix contracted people right. or choose to recast them. They brought back everyone as far as we could tell. And we were really excited to hear our favorite VAs from the series. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Netflix. I wish you would do everything you do. Keep the people that we love when you make the Netflix movies. Right. We don't have anything against the ones that you get who are contracted. It's just we want to hear those that we love doing the roles that we love. Right. As you mentioned, the animation was fantastic. It was a little jarring at first because we were thinking it was going to be like the original series. But as Pascal mentioned, they really went out. They put out a lot of money into it. Mm-hmm. Which is also appreciated. Right. And in the beginning, it started off kind of slow in terms of bringing all the main characters back in. Mm -hmm. We got backstory. And then when it got three quarters of the way through the movie, then we got to see all of the people... You got to see our walking house. We got to see yeah. all the things. We and were now they have for. spaceships and things. <laughs> and it's like, I think they advanced pretty fast in this movie because suddenly they had magic TV screens, magic domes, protective shields. They made a rocket ship. <laughs> it's like, and they all have labs and scientists, which they did have before. But now it's like, I think they're already entering technology age right now and they're pretty early in. <laughs> Well, one the, another good thing about this movie is was produced by Studio Perot. Right. And that's probably why you get the excellent animation and the return of the people who originally voiced the characters. Right. It runs 119 minutes, so it's a minute short of being two hours. You really get your time's worth. And if you're like us and fans, you're happy that you get to spend two hours with your favorite characters again. Right. And I really do hope, as Roscoe mentioned, that we do get a revival for this series now based on the results of this movie. On Twitter, for the next 36 hours, it was nothing but Black Clover tweets and comments and reviews and so much more. We're a little late with yeah. this. But I kind of wanted to let all the excitement down down a little mm -hmm. and then give you a review from us on what we thought. If you haven't seen it, you definitely need to see it. Whether you're a Black Clover fan or not, you can watch this movie. The way it's being produced, you don't have to have seen the series to understand what's going on. You get your backstory, they explain what's going on, mm -hmm. and then you get what's happening. So it's really a kind of kind of class movie in itself. Right. The only thing which we had they had done is put the intro in the beginning yes. like it's supposed to be because putting it near the end with the final battle felt a little weird because you waited the whole movie to see the opening. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. So, if you've seen Black Clover, sort of the Wizard King movie, let us know what you think in the comments below. Did you love it? Did you like it? Is it something you thought the franchise could have done without? Let us know what you think. If you haven't seen it, it's available exclusively right now on Netflix. May change, but right now it's only on Netflix. Watch it, come back, and let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, click the case below dates on upcoming reviews, spoofs, randomness, tips, and more. Absolutely. So happy to do a review on this Netflix movie. Looking forward to more anime movies like this coming out of our favorite franchises. Netflix, are you listening? Give us more. We would love it. Right. So, thank you so much for joining us again, Rascal. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for tuning in for another review. I'm Rascal. I'm Julie. Have a tuntastic day. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time. <laughs> みんなと一緒にこの国を変えていく映画ブラッククローバー魔法帝の剣